Hello everyone. In this video I will review everything about the new tank update. Just make sure to subscribe and like the video for more awesome content just like this. First of all you will need 6 rebirths to get the tank factory for this update. Building the tank factory from start to finish. There are two operations for this update for the T-72 and the Leopard 2A7. Okay so for this it just says how it works right here I'll just zoom in it for you. This is where you will find your tank parts. They take time to research and you need these tank parts so that way you can spawn in tanks to use. Just pick this up and put it in here. There are some tank skins you can get here. Okay so let's review the M4 Sherman can. Its max speed goes up to 30. After shooting it will only take a few seconds to reload and it can only shoot once at a time. It also has a gunner. The damage it does to other tanks is okay if you're using the gunner. But I would recommend using the main gun. So yeah I completed it and overall the easiest way for this is just ask a friend to help you out with this. Now let's review everything about the other two tanks. Starting with the T-72. Its max speed is also 30. If you use the smoke button it will do this which is really cool because you could use that as a getaway. I really like how the top of the tank's top just blows straight up out. And last but not least the lesser 2A7. To be honest the lesser 2A7 feels just like the T-72. Because it has all the same abilities as it. But it is faster than all the other tanks because it goes up to 35. Also they all have a gunner on them. The damage it does is pretty good. The new Taver X95 gun is really good I like it. The damage it does is good. Overall that's it thanks for watching and as always I will see you in the next one. Goodbye and subscribe please.